We love science, obviously, as Muslims. But if you study the philosophy of science, you know science changes. Because no one has an infinite number of observations. We may have a future observation that is against our previous generalizations. We see this in the history of science all the time. Things are changing. Theories are confirmed or rejected. Theories are improved or tweaked. It happens all the time. If someone st has studied the Darwinian mechanism, Darwinian evolution, you would see throughout its history, although it stayed relatively the same, it's been tweaked here and there, right? Because of new findings and new observations. Even concerning the beginning of the, beginning of the universe, cosmology, the Big Bang as we hear, it gets tweaked all the time. In actual fact, if you study the academia, forget the magazines, there are 17 different models to explain the Big Bang. 17! And I believe all of them disagree with each other. They contra those models are in contradiction with each other. And yet, they have the same weight. This is called in the philosophy of science, under determination. You have some data, and there are 17 ways of explaining the same data. And that's how we have to learn and read, Wallahi brothers and sisters, by God. Because many of us, we go onto the streets and we go onto YouTube and we go into these places and we think the Big Bang is like revelation. It's haq. <laughs> you know, there's no other way of looking at reality. The Big Bang, bro, didn't you hear? Dr. So-and-so spoke about this, right? And if he said it, it must be true. And look, the Quran says it true. The Quran says it as well and it must be the same. We can't have this anymore. We live in a globalized world. The internet is very, very open for everybody to see and people will see what you're saying and they would say you don't know what you're talking about and we don't unfortunately don't superimpose science onto the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially when we don't know the science and when you go into the science it's not even based on anything absolute as we said the big bang there are 17 competing different models to explain the same data but why do we go out there in the public realm and we basically portray ourselves as saying this Big Bang, this version is absolutely true and my interpretation of these verses are absolutely true. Both is wrong. Both is wrong. And we just have to become more intellectually and spiritually mature in order to understand that. I did those mistakes too. I've gone through this journey. So we have to consult our ulama, our scholars, consult our classical tradition because they were always very wary when people were superimposing science from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because science is limited knowledge the book of Allah the knowledge of Allah is unlimited from that point of view Allah has the picture we just have a pixel think of a jigsaw puzzle it's all together Allah sees the whole picture we just have one piece and we think from our arrogance that that piece is everything we need to relax and always say, just like the ulama said, and Allah knows best. Okay? And we have to learn from the mistakes of our predecessors and the mistakes of, of my mistakes and other mistakes that people have had, and we progress and learn together. And what we need to realize when we take something scientific, really understand what it means accurately. Not something from YouTube, not in a popular magazine. And when you read the verses of the Quran, understand them properly. And then you could do your own tadabbur, your own pondering. Not tafsir, because we're not qualified. But you could do your own pondering. And when you do that, say Allah knows best. Don't come across as this is the only thing you could hold on to to prove your religion. This is totally false based on what I've just said. Science changes. 